I'm just going to go through a demo of how you would go about doing keyword research all in one setting. So simply in this video, you can watch me follow along and you'll get an idea of the exact process to go through. And at any time, of course, you can always be adding more keyword ideas for your own research. So for this demo, I'm just going to be doing some brief keyword research. So I'm not here for hours and hours showing you, you know, hundreds and thousands of keywords because that would take a really long time. So as I go through this, simply watch the process that I'm going through. I will include a step by step uh, checklist in the resources. So you can go ahead and check that out as well. And without that being said, let's just go ahead and dive right in. So I'm here in Google Keyword Planner, and just like we were before. And I like to start out in Google Keyword Planner because it helps give me an idea of what some of the search volume is. And not only that, but later on, once I'm gathering more keyword terms, I can just go ahead and put it in the Excel sheet and we can just keep building on one huge list until I'm ready to put all those terms into Longtail Pro. So basically, I'm just going to be starting out here. All of my research is going to be based around email marketing for this time around. Yeah, you want to make sure that you're getting spellings right. All right, so that's a pretty good list to get started. So let's click Get Ideas. And I could sort based on all of these different terms. I guess I'll click a few that look really relevant. And then I'll go into add groups. And I'm just going to add all the ad groups just to make it easy. Now you could come back up here and you could add more keyword terms if you'd like, if you'd like to get more ideas. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to move on. I'm going to simply download what we have here into an Excel. And we do have 700 keyword terms. I would probably go up to 1,000 here in Google Keyword Planner. You can go beyond that if you'd like. Um, but I would do the main portion of your keyword research here in Google Keyword Planner up front. It just makes things a lot simpler later on. And then you can go here into Quora if you'd like or even before we do that let's go to uber suggest oh well that's working oh there we go it's done okay so we're going to download all and let's simply open that up. Copy all these email keywords. And then go and open up the keyword planner. And scroll all the way down and add them inside. Make sure you're in where the keywords are at because that will mess up your data if you put it over in one of these other ones. In fact, I delete campaign because I don't even use that. And we can delete all this other stuff out here because Longtail Pro will capture that for us. So now we have Uber Suggest, that's done. And now we can go over to 
keywordtool.io. Get our list here. While that's generating, I'm going to go over to Quora and I'm going to begin picking out a couple different terms here. Again, if you wanted to, you could do all of this in Google Keyword Planner. You don't even have to go to these other places for keyword ideas, but I just like to do that. I think that it gives me a well-rounded foundation for getting as many keyword ideas as I can. Gmail marketing service is the best. So you guys are seeing like how I'm making my own keywords out of some of these, right? So here we have a pretty good list of keywords. I'm going to stop there just because I think I've given you guys a good enough idea of how you can come through here and grab a lot of these keyword ideas and make your own keyword ideas as well. So we're gonna add that to our list. But you could keep going through here, you know, is email marketing dead? I know that is, uh, <laughs> that's always a big one. So yeah, you guys get it, right? You, you see what I'm doing here. Okay, so that's Quora, and we're done there. Now let's go back over. We've got 457 unique keywords. Let's pull it. Open that up. Gather all, copy all these keywords. Some of these aren't going to be able to be used in Longtail Pro because they have slashes and other things like that, but that's all right. I'm not worried about that. That's why we gather a huge list so that when some of these terms don't work out, we are still left with a bunch of good ones. So now, once you have a list of a couple thousand terms, right? We have about 1,500 terms here. It's a, that's a good uh, place to start. I'm also going to delete these ad groups too because um, Longtail Pro is going to give us really all the information that we need. Okay, so here you have your keyword list, all right? It's one huge list. You're going to click on this. It's gonna highlight everything. And then you're gonna to go to data and you're gonna go remove duplicates. And now we have almost 1200 keywords left over. And then from here, you're simply going to place all of these keywords inside of Longtail Pro and it's gonna do its thing and it's gonna calculate the organic competition for every single term. And here it's almost finished with the first batch of keywords that we just put in here. So that is perfect. As soon as these last few finish, I'm going to export and then I will show you guys how to go ahead and sort your research. All right, so I'm not even gonna worry about these last few terms here because they don't even have searches. So you're gonna come here up at the top with this little square box with the arrow and you're gonna click on that this is your box to export. Does take a little bit of time, but pops up pretty quickly. So then you're just going to simply name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it digital marketing, since that's what our topic was. I'm gonna save it to the desktop. Press save. Now I am working with Longtail Pro on a on a remote server. That's nothing that you have to worry about. It's just that's why I'm going to have to copy and paste it here in a second. <laughs> so I just wanted to let you guys know. So I'm going to copy and paste this to my computer now. And the reason I, I use a, a remote is because I have a lot of different tools here that take up quite a bit of RAM. And if I were to use that on all of you know, my laptop or my computer, it would just be too much. So I'm going to simply paste this to the desktop here and now we can open this up 
and we are ready to sort. So join me in the next video as I show you how to sort through all of your keyword research.